All right. William from Williams, Philippines. And this is uh, Tuesday morning, May 7th, 2024. I can tell you, you don't want to fall asleep sitting in a chair. It's not good for your posture. And you wake up with knots in places that ain't supposed to be. I'm still trying to untie the knot in my neck from falling asleep when I got home this morning. Ran in the door, started putting meat into the air fryer. And then I sat down and was trying to watch a video. And I stretched, yawned, and next thing I know it was noon. Yeah. And there was a knot in my neck the size of Texas. Which is pretty good size. Uh, I ain't even going to say I got it all the way out yet. But it is what it is. Anyway. Uh, so needless to say, I didn't make my phone calls. Because pretty much I got up, finished cooking and eating. And then I went back to bed. Apparently, I needed to sleep more than I needed anything else. And my body said, now. And yay. Uh, I'm sorry, I just finished chicken soup and had a piece stuck. Uh, but yeah. Uh, got home. Fell asleep. When I did wake up, took and ate and went back to sleep and then I woke up about 7 30 a little bit before I'm just kidding got up and came here and my boss was here yay uh, yeah his boy is getting uh, engaged in June engagement party I'm invited he's warning me that it's going to mainly be vegetarian. And I'm like, I can deal with that. And, you know, I'm not afraid of my veggies. And, you know, if I was really worried about meat, there's restaurants on the way from there to here. I can get something. I'm in Texas. We're big on meat. There's restaurants that serve, pretty, you know, pretty near nothing but meat. Uh... You know, uh, big Texan steakhouse, Route 66 steakhouse, Roadhouse, you know, all these places that throw beef at you, large mounts. And then there's probably 150 barbecue places in Amarillo. They're just all over the place. Well, maybe not 150, but you know what I mean. Uh, you're in, a, you know, you're in Texas. We got barbecue. We got beef. We're big on steak. Uh, so yeah, I'm not afraid to eat my veggies. I actually like veggies, and I'm okay with them. Uh, but yeah, it's like yeah, I watched uh, his son, you know, from you know growing up. Now well, I've been here for sixteen and a half years, and he's older than that, so he was already growing. But, uh, yeah, he's got out and got a good job now. He's got a gal he's wanting to get married, and him and his, or his, his parents and their parents, or her parents are getting together and having this big thing, and yay. And I know the boy, he's a good kid. And, yeah, uh, so I'm getting invited to an engagement party. He just said, bring me and an appetite and just understand there's no meat. <laughs> okay, I can deal with that. So I got a little while. That'll happen in June, mid-June, something like that. Yeah. And then they're doing, apparently this is going to be a traditional Indian wedding of some sort. I have no idea. 
I might have to pay a little attention marriage and such it's a good thing although I don't recommend it for a lot of things you know a lot of people here in America with what's going on in this country now boy I'm kind of glad Kentucky is getting that uh, DNA test thing before allowing for names to be put on birth certificates because you know I've been through the mess and I don't need I don't want to see anybody else have to go through it and there's a lot of things they could do to fix it and that'd be one of them hey yeah got here got to see the boss talk to him oh he's grumbling about how much coffee I drink Actually, you know, I can honestly say I've been cutting down. And I'm doing like two cups a night now. From six or eight. And I'm trying to get back down to just doing the two on a regular basis. And keep it at that. Or maybe even shoot for just one good cup in the morning. Uh, I don't know. I enjoy coffee. But, yeah... He's grumbling about, you know, people, uh, you know, eating so much. Us employees. This is for the guests. Yeah, well, what job doesn't have coffee for the company, you know, for the people that work there? Seriously. <laughs> he he kind of didn't like that in response. But I said, well, think about it. He got quiet after that. But that's okay. I actually like my boss. Like I said, I wouldn't have stayed here if I didn't like the boss and like the job. Uh, and he's been pretty good about taking care of things. Uh, like I say, I, I've stuck around for reasons. And I even talked to him, uh, told him uh, that, you know, my general plan as to my house for... And when I want to try to sell it and such and get it done and that I would probably need to spend probably uh, most of, a, uh, of May here and possibly a large chunk of April here at the hotel. Uh, so, yeah. And we got talking... Uh, they're figuring that sometime in April, is mid-April, is when his kid's going to get um, hitched. So the actual wedding will happen then, so yay. Uh, yeah. And like I say, you know, it's... it's I, I'm glad to have the friends I have. They've... You know, they've been around me for a while. I've got friends that I've had longer than this job. And I've been at this job for a while. Like I said, I don't have a lot of friends, but the ones I do have, well... Let's put it this way. They call and say, i got bodies, and I'll say, where are we moving them to? Uh, not the newer ones, but... The older ones. <laughs> yeah. I got some throwed off thugs in my friends list. Uh, yeah, shady characters. What's that song? I got friends in low places. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it is what it is. But, you know, and I might not have a lot of friends, but the ones I have are damn good. I'm glad to have them. A lot of folks don't know how to be friends anymore. I think uh, we've lost the ability to even commit to friendship on a long-term basis. You know, like I say, I... 
I don't just run in and start screaming friend from the word get-go. So this is going to be something new, getting to the Philippines and having to deal with that. You know, where everybody just calls everybody my friend. Hey. Yeah, I, I look at that statement and my friend. Well, with friend and my friend comes, you know, commitments in my book. You know, I don't know. It's, but then again, I'm, I am up for learning new things. And part of that is, is being, you know, more open to people and being around more people, being less introverted and more extroverted. That's kind of what I'm doing this here for, you know. Become more open with people that aren't right here, you know, uh, my friends or on my friends list. I, yeah, it's a, it's a work in progress. So yes, slowly but surely, trying to build things up, make me a better person. And it's always better to be, you know, open with people, not uh, stressing out all the time over things. Anyway, I got to take and talk with my boss tonight and discuss a few things, taking care of getting plans and such taken care of. Oh, my birth certificate showed up, so now I got all three of the things that are supposed to be coming in. I got the card, the birth certificate, and the passport book itself. So, yeah, that's good. Hey, I've got a couple other things I need to get to, so I'm going to shut this down and try to catch another couple videos and a few other things and try to make plans for other places. Anyway, William from Williams, Philippines. I'm fishing, fish is out. <laughs>